Well, we've done it. Today we've accomplished our second book in this daily reading plan. Mark chapter 16 records for us that great colossal event known as the resurrection. The resurrection is what this, being a Christian, this is all about. Jesus conquered death. Jesus is alive again. And so now, let's just go to the beach. Let's just hang out. Let's just, you know, eat, drink, and be merry because Jesus, he's coming back again. Well, let me share with you the words that Jesus shared after he conquered death. These words are pretty important. It's in verse 15 of Mark chapter 16. He says, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved, but anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned. These miraculous signs will accompany those who believe. They will cast out demons in my name. They'll speak in new languages. They'll be able to handle snakes with safety. And if they drink anything poisonous, it won't even hurt them. They will be able to place their hands on the sick and they will be healed. See, here's what I find so interesting about Jesus' words. He gives us a commission. He says, go and preach the gospel. See individuals come to faith and repentance in my name. But he also promises, listen, I'll do things that you could never dream of, like, like grabbing a snake, like healing the sick, like speaking in a new language. Listen, as we walk in obedience, God by his spirit does things that we could never even imagine. So here's my encouragement to you today. Don't go out and grab a snake. Don't necessarily just place your hand on someone. Do this first. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. You see, the miraculous is promised for the obedient. And God's called you and I to first and foremost trust that the message of the gospel is what changes lives. You see, Jesus is the one that rebuilds and restores. And let me encourage you, from the words of the one who conquered death, go therefore into all the world and preach the gospel because Jesus, he alone is the one who rebuilds and restores and Jesus is our resurrected one.